Hi students, today we discuss a new concept that is modern periodic table. This modern periodic table was designed by Mosley, later it will be developed by Niels Bohr. What is the definition of modern periodic law? The physical and the chemical properties of an element are periodic functions of their atomic numbers or electronic configuration. That means this modern periodic table was designed by based on their atomic numbers. Now we discuss this modern periodic table completely. Look at this chart. This modern periodic table containing vertical columns. These are called vertical columns. These vertical columns are called groups. Horizontal rows. These are horizontal rows. These horizontal rows are called periods. Now, this modern periodic table containing 7 periods and 18 groups. Now, we discuss briefly about periods. First period. The first period containing two elements. They are hydrogen, helium. These are the two elements which will be printed in a second first period. So, this first period is called very short period or shortest period. Now, second period. The second period containing eight elements that is lithium is the starting element and ending element is neon. Lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon. These are the eight elements which will be printed in a second period. So, this second period is called short period. When compared with first period, it will be containing more number of elements. So, this is called a short period. Next, third period. The third period containing eight elements, they are sodium, magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, argon. This third period may also be named as a short period. Next, fourth period. The fourth period containing 18 elements, the starting element is potassium with atomic number 19 and the ending element is krypton with atomic number 36. This fourth period containing 18 elements, when compared with first, second and third, the fourth period containing more number of elements, so this fourth period is called long period. Now we discuss fifth period. The fifth period is starting element is rubidium with atomic number 37 and ending element is xenon with atomic number 54. This fifth period containing 18 elements. So this period may also be named as a long period. Sixth period. The sixth period containing 32 elements. The starting element is cesium with atomic number 53 and ending element is radon with atomic number 86. This period containing here, this period containing the 18 elements under the lanthanide series may also printed in this sixth period. The lanthanides are here. This lanthanide element is starting element is 57 and the lutetium is the atomic number 71. This row may also present in 6th period. So, the 6th period containing totally 32 elements. So, this is the longest period in a modern periodic table. Next, 7th period. The 7th period now present may also contain 32 elements. The starting element is francium with atomic number 87 and the ending element is organesan with atomic number 118. And here, the actinide group may also printed in the 7th period. What is the actinide group? The actinide group is, starting element is 89. And the ending element is laurentium with atomic number 103. These group of elements are named as an actinide series group. This actinide series is presented in a 7th period. This is also called a longest period present because of it containing 32 elements. 
This is the information about periods in a modern periodic table. Now we discuss about groups. The modern periodic table containing 18 groups. This is the first year group. This first year group containing elements hydrogen, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, and francium. These are called a first year group elements. This first year group may also be named as a alkali elements. Why we are naming this first year group elements or alkali elements means these elements are obtained from plant ash and whenever these elements are reacted with water form hydroxides. These hydroxides are having a base character. In a Greek word alkali means base in nature. So these first year group elements may also be named as alkali elements. Except hydrogen all elements are metals in first year group elements. Now we discuss about second year group elements. The second year group elements are beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium and radium. These second year group elements may also be named as a alkaline earth elements because these elements are obtained from earth crust. These metal oxides are having a base in nature. So they are named as a alkaline earth element. When compared with base character, the first year group elements are more base nature when compared with second year group elements. Now we discuss third to twelfth group. These twelfth, third to twelfth group elements all are a D black elements. All are belongs to metal character in nature. Now we discuss a third year group element. The third year group element or group 13 elements may also be named as a boron family because the starting element is boron. So this 13th group or third year group elements may be named as a boron family. They are boron, aluminium, gallium, indium, thallium, meconium. This boron family composed with metals, non-metals and metalloid character. That means uh, boron is a metalloid in nature and the remaining all are metals. Next, fourth year group. This fourth year group or group 14th group may also be named as a carbon family because the starting element is carbon. The fourth year group elements are carbon, silicon, germanium, tin, lead and fluorium. This carbon family containing non-metals metalloids and metals. The carbon is an example for non-metal. Silicon, germanium are an example for metalloids. What is meant by metalloids? An elements which will be having both metal and non-metal nature. That elements we are named as a metalloids. In this group, silicon, germanium are an example for metalloids and the remaining are metals. Next, Fifth year group elements or group 15 elements may also be named as a nitrogen family because the starting element is nitrogen. They are nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony, bismuth, moscovium. Here, this nitrogen family containing non metals, metalloids, and metals. The nitrogen, phosphorus are an examples for non metals. Arsenic and antimony are an examples for metalloids and the remaining are metals. Next, 60A group elements are group 16 elements. The starting element is oxygen. So this group may also be named as a oxygen family. This can also be named as a chalcogen groups. Why? The 60A group elements are named as a chalcogens means because these metals or these elements are obtained in the form of ore. This ore is obtained in the form of sulfides and oxide ores. So these are named as a chalcogens. That means these elements are obtained in ore form in the form of oxides and sulfides. So these are named as chalcogens. The 60A group elements are oxygen, sulfur, selenium, telonium, polonium, Livromorium. Here, oxygen is a gas, sulfur, 
और सिलीनियम और एन एग्जाम्पल फॉर नॉन मेटल्स टेलोनियम पोलोनियम टेलोनियम इज पोलोनियम और मेटल्स नेक्स्ट सेवेंथ ये ग्रुप एलिमेंट्स और ग्रुप सेवेंटीन एलिमेंट्स दीज आर नेम्ड एज ए हेलोजन ग्रुप एलिमेंट्स बिकॉज दीज एलिमेंट्स आर अपटेन फ्रॉम सी सॉल्स दीज सी सॉल्स कंटेनिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल सोडियम क्लोराइड इज अपटेन फ्रॉम सी वॉटर द सोडियम क्लोराइड कंटेनिंग क्लोरिन सो दीज एलिमेंट्स ऑप्टेन्ड फ्रॉम सी प्रोडक्ट्स सो दीज आर नेम्ड एज ए हेलोजन दे आर फ्लोरिन क्लोरिन ब्रोमिन आयोडिन अस्टॉडिन टेनिसिन हियर द फ्लोरिन क्लोरिन ब्रोमिन आयोडिन all are gases next we discuss about uh, group 18 this can also be named as a zero group elements or noble gas elements or inert gas elements here the group 18 elements are helium neon argon krypton xenon radon oxygen all are uh, gases these are their electronic configuration outermost valence electronic configuration is completely filled that means uh, s2 p6 configuration so these are not readily participated in a chemical reaction so these are named as a inert gas elements they are completely filled when compared with the remaining elements in a modern periodic table all these elements are completely filled so based on their these elements the remaining elements in a period, modern periodic table take part in a chemical reaction so these group 18 elements are named as a noble gas elements in a modern periodic table the highest electronegative element is fluorine in a modern periodic table the highest electropositive element is cesium this modern periodic table containing metals non metals metalloids here the lanthanide series these elements are named as a rare earth elements because these elements are obtained very smaller in quantity in earth so these lanthanide group elements are named as a rare earth elements these are obtained in the form of oxide form in earth crust and actinides these actinides may named as a radioactive elements these are having very highly radioactive nature and explosive nature so these are named as a actinides we observe here the pink colored these elements that means carbon nitrogen oxygen phosphorus sulfur selenium these are an examples for non metals when we observe a light blue in color elements like boron silicon germanium arsenic antimony tellurium polonium these are an examples for metalloids we can simply identified the non metals metalloids and metals in a modern periodic table here the 7th a and 8th a group elements majorityly are in the form of a gas that means this modern periodic table is composed with three states containing elements they are gaseous elements and solid elements here the mercury mercury is the semi solid that is in the form of a liquid element this is an example for one liquid element in a modern periodic table this is the complete information about modern periodic table this modern periodic table present containing 118 elements in next i hope you have understood this modern periodic table thank you for watching this video